learn uh, to trust the people that are the experts. And in terms of draft systems, in terms of uh, uh, the pressure side, the cold side, the dispense side, we rely on a company like AC Beverage because they are the experts. They are the ones that have the answers to the questions that are going to solve the problems that we have. Um, and they've demonstrated that time and time again. For us, quality begins at the brewing stage, but it continues all the way uh, to the glass in front of the customer at the bar. And, and so you rely on a lot of people. The way I often describe it is, is you raise a kid and you send them off to college. And when you send them off to college, you're relying on everybody else to take care of the work that you've done. And for our brewers, a lot of that falls into place. You know, they, they work very hard to maintain a, an unbelievable um, amount of quality inside the brewery. But once that beer is packaged, whether it's in kegs, uh, bottles, cans, in this instance we're talking kegs, it's up to companies like AC Beverage to make sure that that beer is taken care of. And uh, from, the, from the pressure side to the dispense side, uh, temperature control, all of the things that can be enemies of beer in terms of quality, AC Beverage is the group that we work with to make sure that we are covered. Um, so beyond that, we also train our bartenders to make sure that they understand what it means to pour a perfect pint up to the standards that Guinness has. Um, we hold our bartenders to a very high standard and, and we hold our, our partners, people like AC Beverage, to a high standard as well. Um, Guinness Draft, our, our nitrogenated stout that debuted in 1959, is often referred to as a canary in the coal mine. If there's something wrong with your dispense system, if there's something wrong with your temperature control system, Guinness Draft is going to be the beer that shows that. And so we don't have any room for error here in this brewery. And uh, we made that clear to AC Beverage. They understand how important it is to us. Um, and furthermore, our customers are not going to give us a break. Uh, Guinness fans are some of the most passionate beer lovers in the world. They know our products in some ways better than we do, or they think they do. Some of the things that AC Bev has to deal with is all of these brilliant ideas about how to design a bar, but then the last thing they confer with are the guys that are actually making sure the beer pours correctly. And in every circumstance, AC Bev comes in and says, yeah, if that's what you want to do, we'll figure out a way to make it happen. Um, and for us, in this building, 90 taps, four different bars, one of which is outside, one of which is two floors up from the cold box. Um, you've got incredible lengths of draw. You're dealing with a beer in Guinness draft, uh, among many others. Right now, I think we have 17 or 18 beers on draft, but a nitrogenated beer like Guinness draft that is so finicky, um, you have to deal with getting that into those four different bars and make sure it pours the same way every single time. So that's length of draw, that's height of draw, um, that's making sure that the pressure coming out of that keg is, is exactly where it needs to be despite the fact that the beer is going three different directions. Um, they do an incredible job with that and, and I, I don't think that we are unique in creating a difficult uh, set of circumstances for, for AC Bev. Uh, but one of the things that makes it very easy to work with them is that they, you know, they know where the bodies are buried. They, they've been in some of these bars and they've ch been challenged and they've risen to that occasion. Uh, so I wouldn't say that we're the most difficult customer that they have. We may be uh, the one with the highest expectations and, and the most to, uh, to gain, um, but I, I, uh, I've been very impressed with the way that no matter what we throw at them, they figure out a way to make it work.